Shalom, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone by Shem Rakak Wadash. My name is Yakabo from Planet Tables Camp of Philly. This is 2 John 1 and 8. It says, Look to yourselves that we lose not those things which we have wrought. All right. And it's sending around, Beware of these wicked women and doctrines all right where we at we got g2038 ergazomai ergazomai and it says to work labor exercise perform commit to produce to work for earn by working require so don't lose the what we've worked for you know the building we're building upon you know, the lord's foundation you know, through our apostles and elders and we were given a certain knowledge you know prerequisites we were given information to know what to look out for so look to yourselves that we lose not those things which we have wrought but that we receive a full reward so you got to beware beware of the beast all right Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Mashiach. Alright, so Senator Israel Elder says, Stay away from these animals. I repeat, stay away. And this is a chief spirit. The chief spirit amongst wicked wickedness. This Neanderthal here, this rock character. Black. I'm going to title this video, Stay Away From These Animals. Stay away from these animals. Anyway, watch the video in the description box. Um, I'm going to say Shalom. Yeah, I didn't watch the video, but uh, <laughs> let me just see. Let's see. Let's see. I, I know it ain't nothing good. This is a, anything that even looks like this. You see the same frequency. She's a Neanderthal, from what I see in previous, no previous clips and stuff. She's just fucking Neanderthal. <laughs> I think they're just acting, just an act, just like a movie set or something like that. Um, Neanderthals acting Neanderthals. All right, now she this behavior like this obviously, you know, she she has no no chance unless she would make a, a 180 degree repentance. All of these women are out of order. All right, it says, um, and you got women that look up to you know acting behavior like that all right it's putting on a damn show uh to get views you know and she, she i think she does have something uh psychologically wrong with her all right either way you know that's the be behavior that is going to lead to you, know, you being left alone in the real world because that's just fantasy you know you got regular you know, people that look up to the, to those characters. All right. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Mashiach hath not the power. He that abideth in the doctrine of Mashiach, he hath both the Father and the Son. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, uh, him receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speed. It's a doctrine out there that says you're not supposed to follow the laws. And that the man is not supposed to be the head. And that's a that's a wicked doctrine. All right, clearly tells you in Corinthians eleventh chapter that the man is the head. It reinforces what the law already says. Now, but there's a spirit out there that wants to make to put the man in a, a equal or in or submissive position relative to the woman. And that type of behavior, that mindset, is going to be obliterated. All right. Tom Jacob's trouble is going to bring that to uh, fruition. It's going to come to pass. They can have the, the pride now 
But when the time of Jacob's trouble arrives, man, every uh, lazy, uh, ignorant, you know, person that's full of doctrine in that day, that were, were, were uh, equal, and they try to use the, the scriptures to back it up or their own ideologies, they're going to be an annihilated. It tells you, right? That they're ready to be taken and destroyed. Let's see how Peter's, I think. It says, uh, but chiefly, 2 and 10, 2 Peter's 2 10, but chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lusts of uncleanliness and despise government, presumptuous are they self willed, they are not afraid to speak e evil dignities. You say a, a, a man is only supposed to have one woman. Right? You're thinking according to the the doctrine of this world that's fleshly it's not spiritual all right it's, it's it was the, the lord right it, it originated from the spirit world yahweh's father and yahweh shot his son right? they created the order on earth all right for man to cleave into his wife or wives all right and the scriptures tell you about you know a bishop having one wife well that's that is a uh, that is a, co a commandment, but it's not. If you have another wife, you can't divorce your other wives just so you can be with one wife. All right, that's not concrete. If you got another, because if it was concrete, then you would be transgressing the law by causing her to commit adultery. All right, and it says a bishop, meaning you're a, a elder. All right. Paul says that yeah, you, it's better to have one wife, right? But that's not in the law, where a man is only supposed to have one wife, right? And the law is not done away with. This is Exodus twenty-one and ten. This is as an example. If he take him another wife, if he take him another, her food, her remnant, and her duty of marriage shall not diminish. All right. So it was lawful for an Israelite man to have multiple wives. All right. And again, if you if the brother already has three wives, it's, it's like it's none of my business whether the brother has three wives. All right. And he's an elder. All right. But no such commandment is is, is ever given. To a brother that's not an elder, right? it's, it's new. It's nuanced there, right? but it's none of my business if a brother has, you know, two wives, all right? And women have a problem with that. If if a, a man has another woman, she wants to be the first and only. Well, that's selfish, and that's and that's against the laws, that's against the scriptures, all right? For you to make it that. The man, you can feel whatever way you want to feel about it, but to end the relationship or reprimand or, or try to uh, chastise a man for having another wife, you're going off, and you say you were, you know, you were a daughter of Zion, right? Going off. Now it says, um, yeah. So he's so basically you got women that are speaking evil. Of men that have more than one wife, because right? they're they're selfish and they get jealous easy, easy, and they think that they're not performing well because he needs another woman. Whatever it's that, not every man can be can only have one wife. You know, some some men gotta have more than one. All right? And again, that's not like a priority, but if he has another woman, I mean, that's that's his business. And he has the right to do so, no matter what his rank is. All right? And the reason why it's good to only have one wife is because it's much simpler that way. Right. In general, all right. You can, but on the other hand, you can say a, a brother may not have an issue with that, but some brothers may. All right. So again, it's not it's not my business whether a man a man has more than one wife, no matter what his rank is. All right. Whereas the angels, which are greater in power and mighty, might not bring an accusation against them before the Lord. 
right? But these as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed speak evil of the things they understand not and bring and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. Let's look up corruption. What do we got? Phthora. Perishable. Eternal misery in hell. We touch ethical sense, corruption, moral decay. Yeah, that, that uh little that little bit that she that she does, you know, acting stupid and crazy. You know, she she got problems, but you know, it's, she she's purposely doing it. Uh, because that's what's going to you know sell records and and merchandise, whatever business she has set up with that blue guy. All right. Let's see. Natural brute beast. But these as natural brute beasts. Yeah, I'm just using you know, these women as an example. All right. You should be offended. Nineteen nine. If. A, a brute beast like this even likes you. You should be you should be offended. This this is not a a um a compliment. Now to the uninitiated, yeah, you you think this is a compliment. You think this is you think you want you want you leveling up to the if you unaware of the nature, the natural brute beast. All right. All right. And if you try to you know, correct her, she'll uh, look at you as you evil. As you 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 uh you shouldn't be t t giving her order, telling her what to do. You looked at as evil. All right. So you you lay some correction down, and you know as you know as an authority. All right, the tenth verse. All right, they they speak evil. But these as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed speak evil, it says there in 12 verse 2, of the things that they understand not. Yeah, because they don't understand that women are supposed to carry themselves a certain way. From Proverbs 31, as an example. And as uh, Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughter ye are. Right. Let me just get that. I'll get that. All right. We got a uh, country observed. I want a brute. Two forty nine. I don't have it up. Brute. No, I didn't have it up. De destitute of reason. I just looked at it. Contrary to reason, absurd, uh, irrational. A logos, a logos, irrational, brute, unreasonable. All right, and where we get the reason from? We get the reason from the laws and the prophets in the writings. That's where we get the reason from. All right, so like the, like the apostle said, stay away. Shalom, giving all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Mekakodash, Shalom to the whole free elect. I'm going to title this video, Stay Away From These Animals. Stay away from these animals. Anyway, watch the video in the description box. Um, I'm going to say Shalom. All right, you should, be you should be offended. All right. And you got guys that actually think that you know if a, de a demon like this likes you that this is some somehow you you love you leveling up sometimes you you're better these are weak uh, simp simp men all right they don't have anything going on in their life they have a very low uh self esteem all right and they you know act on impulse cuz they you know they get an erection and they think that, that that's the right thing get with it because you know she gets you to that point all right these 
this, a woman like this will ha have you put to death, have you in handcuffs, have the cops come to your house and beat the shit out of you, and have you had to leave, you had to leave the house and take a walk. That's not telling you what the fuck to do in your own damn house. Because you were a, a demonic character. I wouldn't touch a woman like this with a 10 foot forward fire on it. Alright. I think I heard that from the Apostle El Elder Gabar. I forgot what he was referencing. Maybe the same thing. But that's. You should be offended that a demon like this is attracted to you. All right, be be better, brothers. All right, stay away. Then we gonna get beast, Zuon, a living being. She's really dead, but you know she's alive because she's free. An animal, a brute beast. All right. So you've been warned. <laughs> if any there come, if if there come any unto you, and they bring not this doctrine, receive them not into your house, neither bid them God speed. Right? You have. You read up here. You have the elect lady. Up here, so you do have women that are doing the right thing. All right. If possible, you know, get with them. If not possible, you know, you keep keep those demonic ass women at a distance. All right. Or completely avoid them. If you get to this uh, level of, of demonology. All right. It's demonic possession. Don't even touch. Don't even go near a woman that even look remotely. You see this long ass weave. This is a sign of evil. All right. Got the eyebrows done. Look pretty nice. You start seeing these uh, umbrellas on it, these these eyelashes, their nail techs. They do lashes. They see they got they sell hair. Is obviously you know for the for the black woman and uh, really Latino woman too. They do the lashes and all that. And some of the Edomites do the extensions. All right. This is a, the face and figure of evil. All right. Now you should already know how wicked women are. I'll get it. Uh, how about I, I'll get it? Just in case you don't believe me. I think it's first Ezra's four and start with Corey. All right. It says um. Well, I think it's go, it goes into who's stronger, who's the strongest. Women have borne the king, all the people that bear rule by sea and land, even them, of them they come and they nourish them up and plant vineyards. These also make garments for the men. These bring glory unto men, and without women, men cannot be. Right? Yeah, so we need women to bring forth our seed. Because right? a woman conceives seed, meaning taken and whole. And gives birth to, to the next generation. And if men have gathered together gold and silver or any other goodly thing, do they not love a woman which is calmly in favor, favor and beauty? Yeah. So we love the woman more than the gold and the silver. And so much that we use our resources to give them what they want. And what they need. That's how powerful women are. So a, a demonic evil beast this powerful. Don't You don't think that she's going to come against you at the first chance she gets? Of course. And she's going to slowly bend you to her will if you, if you are not uh, well versed and apply these, this knowledge. And letting all those things go. They do they not gape? And even with open mouth fix their eyes fast on her and have not all men more desire to her than unto silver or gold or in or any goodly thing whatsoever. And we, we love women more than gold and silver. 
All right? But when you come, you know, to the knowledge of the truth, you got to know how to, you know, mitigate that. You know, and live a more uh, stoic life. All right? Meaning that you, you're more reserved. Uh, you put the ministry first. You understand when you, you know, when you're going too far with a woman. All right? Because, you know, some brothers have to have women. You know? And because she give you good ahead, that don't that don't mean you should move in with her. By the way, and start you know molding your finances together. All right? You got men just to fall apart because a woman make them feel a certain way. All right? You got to be wiser than that, or she gonna lead your ass down the road of absolute destruction. She put her fangs in and bleed you out slow. A man leaving his own father. That brought him up in his own country and cleaves into his wife. Yeah, you got certain men that are moved to different states to live with a woman. Change jobs just so they can be close to their woman. Right? It's not necessarily bad, you know. But, you know, in the faith, we, it's certain things that, it, you know, it's not kosher for us to do. We got to be wise. Because every, you know, action has, a, you know. Has a consequence. It could be good or bad. He sticketh not to spend his life with his wife, and remembereth neither father nor mother nor country. You got some dudes that are, yeah, that just forget everything and just can be concerned with just his his uh, his wife. Be this also, yet must know that women have demean over you. Do you not labor and toil and give and bring all to the woman? <laughs> hey, I mean, I, do I got to break that down? You, you brothers know what you're doing for your women. All right. So the point is, women have a lot of power. And and today, these women are wicked and they're out of order. So something with this much power, don't, don't you know that she will, at the first chance, she's going to use that power that she has over you to make you one with her and you and she running you all right when she gets you hooked it's hard to get hard to let go all right it's hard to get unattached this is why it's best to not even be attached don't get attached to these women all right they're natural brute beast and i gave you the example what the apostle did and Let's make a response to this video. And looketh upon a lion and goeth in darkness. And when he has stolen, spoiled, and robbed, he bringeth it to his love. You got a lot of men that they're flashy. They they get they move to certain places. They get a certain lifestyle just to impress a demon, a, 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 a living, breathing, brute beast. They commit crimes. Do a host of evil shit to 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 uh, impress and to get and gain the favor of a demon. Wherefore a man loveth his wife better than father and mother. Yeah, many there be that have run out of their wits for women, and become servants for their sake. And that's powerful. Meaning. You put under contracts and obligations because of your union with a woman. You can break that down how you will. You got men that get put under contracts, obligations, and agreements because they're with a union with a woman. Because of something that they need or want. You got to be smarter than that. Don't engage Many also have perished and have erred and sinned for women. And now, do ye not believe me? Is not the king great in power? Do not all regions fear to touch him? Yet did I see him and Apame, if I'm saying that right, the king's concubine, the daughter of the admirable Bartokas, sitting at the right hand of the king, and taking the crown from the king's head and sitting it upon her own head, 
she also struck the king with her left hand. So in other words, like my parents used to say, she she got fresh. She got started getting cute. All right. And this is a simple ass simp. And yet for all this, the king gaped and gazed upon her. So it was cute. She was striking him, playing a little hitting games. That's not something that was just that just started. This is going on back then. The little hitting games. That's basically to show that you they're trying to make you submit to them. You ain't gonna hit me. You ain't gonna hurt me. You know, they get a little too friendly with you, they look too familiar. All right? These women are full of demons. All right? And the king was faint to flatter. But if she took any displeasure at him, the king was faint to flatter that she might be reconciled to him again. So, yeah, so the woman is displeased with his with your performance you know you feel like oh man i gotta i gotta make it up to her you know i gotta take her to a dinner because you guys a lot of you guys are simps and you're slowly being turned into simps and you don't even know it oh ye men how can it be but women should be strong seeing they do thus all right i think you get the point all right you friends reading it is a uh, second well first as is the fourth chapter all right so this that's a stronghold you know getting over this damn women getting over the breasts and things you like about the woman is a stronghold all right and you got to pray fast whatever to get rid of that demon do not engage be offended that women like this like you shallow on Shalom, giving all praise to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Makakwadash, Shalom to the whole for the elect. I'm going to title this video, Stay Away From These Animals. Stay Away From These Animals. Anyway, watch the video in the description box. Um, I'm going to say Shalom.